Hello everyone, and welcome to Something for Every Nerd. Today on the channel we have a great series today. Nerdy Nostalgia featuring Muppet Treasure Island. Uh, this is a game that meant so much to me as a child, I can't even tell you. I mean, I can tell you. I'm going to be telling you all about it through the course of things to come. So, um, basically around... oh god, when did this come out? I was more prepared the first time I recorded this, but I had to throw out the footage because it didn't record my microphone for some reason. So, um, give me one second. Alright, so this came out in 1996 by Activision Studios. Um, it was originally made for, um... Hmm. It was originally made for Windows and Macintosh at the time, but here's the interesting thing. Oh, cool! So this was co-made by Activision and Blizzard, believe it or not. So Joel Bone, that's a shout out for you. Um, so yeah, so Muppet Treasure Island is um, just a fun little educational but interactive point and click, basically. Um, that retells the story of Muppet Treasure Island from your perspective, playing as Jim Hawkins, uh, progressing through the story of Muppet Treasure Island. Uh, originally this was three discs, so each episode is going to be one disc worth of content. Uh, some will be longer than others. Um, so yes, so come with me on this adventure through Muppet Treasure Island. Let's go! Welcome, I am Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, and this is my assistant, Beaker. Yeah, excuse me, Dr. Honeydew, we need Beaker in Bristol right away. Oopsie doodle. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Mr. Kermit, yeah, come on out and introduce yourself to Hawkins. Thank you, sir. Hey, ho, Kermit the Frog here. Welcome to hey, the- Hey, Kermit! I got some great new pirate jokes for the game. Uh, well, not now, Fozzie. You see, wait, we wait. Did you hear the one about the pirate who kept falling down? Uh, they called him Black and Bluebeard. Ah, waka waka. Any more jokes like that, Fozzie, and you'll waka waka the plank. Hey, but that's funny. C can I use that? Uh, sure. But but first, you have to take your place in Bristol, please. No. Yeah, go ahead. Right by the door. Yep. Oh. Okay. Now where's the parrot? Ah! Ah! Stevenson! You're the help character! You go and help already! <clears throat> Hiya, Hawkins! Say, welcome to the game! So I know you're asking yourself, Self, why is this parrot calling me Hawkins? Wasn't he the hero of Treasure Island? Right? Right? Wrong! Haha! <laughs> you're the new Hawkins and hero! I'm the new and Hawkins? And I'm your Stevenson! I'll be on my perch. Ah. Here's something else. Just tap on me once if you need any help. Tap on me twice if you're ready to see your stuff. Anytime you're ready, I'm ready. Ah! Okay, start the opening! Woo! Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. You're gonna get this in stereo in a second here. I was Flint's first mate that voyage, three days east of Totola in the Caribbean. Flint knew an island. That's where we buried the treasure. Gold and blood. They were Flint's trademarks. He'd leave both behind him that day. And starring you is Hawkins. Oh my gosh, I have, like energetic tears in my eyes every time this comes on. And no one knows to this day what happened to the treasure or the treasure map. Maybe you'll find them. Hey, Hawkins. Hawkins? Hi. 
Why are we laughing? Another adventure, Mr. Bones. Mm. My favorite's the story about the one-legged man. I would also ah, like to hear that story. The one-legged man. I told you never to mention that cursed beast. I'm sorry. I apologize. Finish brewing my stew. I feel the horrors coming on. Be gone. The horrors. Oh, I think I'll be going now. Oh. <laughs> Hmm? Hmm? Billy Bones, it's me, Blind Pew, come to settle a score. <laughs> okay. Just wait for him to leave. Wait a second. That is the sound of a dead man. Well, not quite dead yet. But, um, for those of you that aren't familiar with um, the story of Mappa Treasure Island, um, basically, um, this was kind of during the time the Muppets set out to tell classics, classic literature stories. Um, so, like, it was also part of the Muppets renaissance, really. So there was, like, Muppet Christmas Carol, and then I want to say this one came out, um, which kind of established like the the weird friendship between Gonzo and Rizzo, which never really existed before. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Rats, geeks, scurvy pirates. Yep. Just another ordinary night at the Benbow Inn. Um. So, yeah, um, I don't want to go upstairs just yet. Huh? Billy Bones! <laughs> it's your old pal, come to see you! Ah, see you! <laughs> That's a joke! I am blind, I cannot see! <laughs> oh, ah, oh, and yeah, like the the uh, the original. Uh, um, Billy Bones, it's me, Blind Pew. Come to settle a score. <laughs> uh, the original Muppet Treasure Island was just probably one of the best Muppet films out there, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, don't believe old Billy. I'll tell you, the whole matter is all wash. If you'll pardon the expression. <laughs> <laughs> But, um... With those tall tales of his, Billy Bones is a bigger hand than we are. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so, um... Words. Like, I love Muppet Christmas Carol. Like, of all Christmas Carol adaptations, Ooh, it's my gee, absolute favorite. turned all brown and yummy. Jeez, the refrigerator's almost empty. What do you know? The light does stay on. How fortunate. I love, I always loved clicking on the sign making the plates fly. So anyways, um... Looks like Mr. Bones has checked out for the evening. Whew. You know, he hardly ever sleeps in his room anymore. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, um, I forgot the point I was going to make. But the reason I'm kind of clicking around a lot um, is because um, this being a sort of point-and-click adventure, you gotta click pretty much everything in order to unlock special things. Part of it being, um, we're looking for, well, I'll tell you in a second here. Uh, the, the, the letter from, from... Hey, thanks. Well, we're gonna need that key in a second, but this little... Hawkins! This be the ghost of Captain Flint speaking. You may not know me, but these treasure you're after is mine! You hear that? But it's not castanets. It's me bones rattling with rage over the scoundrels trying to claim me gold. Now, 
Heed me words, Hawkins. Keep your eyes open and your noggin sharp, and you just might be the one to find the treasure. <laughs> if you're lucky. Okay, I thought I would talk about it in this letter, but it's clearly a later letter. Um. But, um. Random times when you click stuff, uh, it'll give you a little rock with north, south, east, or, or west painted on it. Or carved on it, rather. And we need those to, um, actually unlock the treasure. Stormy night. Alright, what else do we got going on for us? Benbo sign? Nope, just creeks. Doors just open and close. Windows, just a window. Right, okay, if you ask me, I'd use the door, but it's just my way. <laughs> but you're the boss. Excuse me. Well, that was semi helpful. All right, let's go check up on Billy Bones. The black spot! The black spot! A real black spot? Uh, can I see it? I've never seen a real black spot before, Mr. B. Hey, hey, hold that door! Oh. Oh. Hey, watch out! Poor Rizzo. Alright. Hey, hey, watch out! Oh. 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 Okay, so... No, I didn't want to go downstairs. I wanted to click on the clock. There we go. Uh, doesn't look like the clock's giving us anything, sadly. The window? <laughs> I'll be coming back with some friends to take back our treasure map <laughs> and whatever else we can lay our eyes on. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Eyes? Lay our eyes on? <laughs> they kill me! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Seems like a lot of people are having trouble with those stairs. Alright, inside of the clock? Oh, uh, the cuckoo doors. No? All right, let's go in. The black spot got me. Oh, oh, this is bad. This is bad. Pirates, black spot, danger, and worst of all, the refrigerator's empty. Oh. The black spot is the universal pirate symbol for death and doom. And fun fact, if you ever got one, they were typically coated with poison that would soak into the skin and kill you. Ah! The black spot! So that's how it ends for old Billy. The black spot. And all for a stinking treasure map. The black spot is the universal pirate symbol for death and doom. Ah! The black spot! So that's how it ends for old Billy. The black spot. And all for a stinking treasure map. <laughs> okay, so nothing there's interacting. I don't know what's more dangerous, being socked by a pirate or being in here with a pirate's dirty socks. <laughs> Phew. Now, I think Mr. Bones should do his laundry once in a while. Uh, on second thought, don't bother. And they say rats smell bad. Whew. There we go, there's one. Ha ha ha! You found the first rock, and you're still alive! You're doing better than most! Ha ha ha! Hey, thanks! I don't think we're gonna get a second one, but I'm still gonna at least once interact with everything. Billy, the 
Would you remember to say thank you after stealing the treasure map? Billy, did you remember to check the expiration date on your explosives? Billy, why couldn't he have been more like Mrs. Hoop's boy? He calls her every week no matter where he's pillaging. Hmm. All right, let's open this treasure chest. Hmm. I'll look for a key. I'll look for a sledgehammer. Hmm. Hey, Hawkins, try this. All right, so. Let's see what's in here. Ah, the smell of adventure. Rotting wood, mold, mildew. Yep, that's adventure, all right. Uh. <laughs> all right. Broken ore. Self-aware teddy bear. Bloomers. Poison. Funny glasses. Uh, cannon shorts. Socks. Dynamite. Yikes! Dynamite. Dynamite. Looks like Willie's sea chest is booby trapped. We must be getting warmer. Now it's lit. What did I do? Throw it right into the furnace? <laughs> Arr, arr, arr. Hawkins, this be the ghost of Captain Flint speaking. If you want to find me buried treasure, you'll need more than a map to Treasure Island. <laughs> you'll need to find the four diamond-shaped rocks I left behind. Now these rocks could be the key to the treasure, or your grave. <laughs> arr, 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 arr. All right, duly noted. All right, let's get out of here. There's dynamite. Looks like we've got two choices. A, we jump two stories into the vegetable cart below, or B, we stay here and face the deadly, angry, and very well-armed pirates. And C? There isn't a C. It's always a C. What kind of a game is this without a C? Ha <laughs> ha. He makes a good point. All right, let's get out of here. Pirates! Uh, uh oh, we be taking that treasure map now. <laughs> What's that? I smell something burning. Ooh. Look out! It's raining rats into whatever. I've had enough of this job. I'm out of here. Look out, Billy! I sympathize. <laughs> Molasses! What a mess! Whew! Oh, that was a close one. Now, if only there was some way to pass the time between here and Bristol. <laughs> 99 pieces of cheese on the wall, 99 pieces of cheese. Take one down, pass it around, 98 pieces of cheese on the wall. Oh, 98 pieces of cheese on the wall, 98 pieces of cheese. Take one down, let it turn brown, 97 pieces of cheese on the wall. 96 pieces of cheese on the wall, 97 pieces of cheese. Take one down. But yeah, so this... this was one of my favorite games as a child, and it still is up there for me. The nostalgia definitely holds for me. Bristol, just like I pictured it. Why don't you clean the molasses off so you can see it? All right, we've got a sponge. Yes, I'm meticulous with my sponging. Boom. Welcome to town, everyone. Now we need a ship. Why? Well, we have a map to, you know, Treasure Island. Do -do 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 -do. That's a running gag. Uh, oh, hey, hey, sounds like intermission. I say we get some food. I say we find a ship. Let's head for the docks. Okay, come on. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just kind of gonna click everything at least once. I think I remember where the thing is, and it's not for a while, but I'm gonna click everything at least once for the interactive side of it all. But, um... 
Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think of other things that we can talk about relating to this. Um, I mentioned on stream when I was playing Sea of Thieves for a hot second that, um, for a hot second I was hoping to direct a adaptation of Treasure Island for my university's theater. Sadly, that did not work, but I also kind of wasn't feeling the show after a, f a while. I just couldn't bring myself to sit down and actually read the play, um, which wasn't a good sign. So I was just like, you know what, I, I've got this other play that I'd like to do. But yeah, um... Uh, anything else interactive? This post. Um, I can talk about Colossal Con for a quick minute or two. Trelawney is no Oops. rocket Sorry. scientist, but he's smart when it comes to building ships. Um, yeah, ro rockets haven't been invented yet. Well, right. Uh, that Square Trelawney is no horse and buggy scientist, but he's smart when it comes to building ships. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Hey there! You look like you could use some new clothes! Yeah, I kinda Come on could. In. I'm, I'm kinda just a bit covered in molasses. Hey, there you are. Say, I'm working on something that could pay for this whole trip. Let's meet down at the docks in a little bit, okay? <laughs> See you down there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so Colossal Con this year is pretty oh, cool. Vacation, honey. This hotel is simply charming. Everything first crate for my little vermin face. Already, you're so romantic. <laughs> but the trip is just beginning. I have a surprise for you. Oh. <laughs> um. So. Uh, yeah. So Colossus Con was this year. Hey I didn't take a you whole look like lot you of. Use some new clothes. I didn't take a whole lot of photos. Um, He's in luck. I happen to speak turkey. <laughs> That's a figure of speech. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. We're really going to talk turkey. <laughs> Got him. I mean... I can't wait till them pirates ship out. They're driving away my business. Whew. All right, let's go in. Welcome. Not Hi. to be rude, but uh, <clears throat> that flung out of a burning building, landing in a vegetable truck covered by molasses look went out of style last year. How about we make a deal? If you keep them pirates away from my store, you can earn enough for one of my Monsieur Edward specials over here. I'll pay you one doubloon for every nasty pirate you hit, but don't hit any of my customers or I'll have to dock your pay. It's that simple. Sounds fair. The anti-buccaneer lunch launcher is ready for firing. Good luck. Anti-buccaneer lunch launcher away. All right, so you put a pie on there and don't shoot the good people, shoot the pirates. Um, I mean, I took enough pictures that maybe I could do something and uh, PJ and Andrew have enough pictures that I might be able to put something together for a video for something for every nerd. If it's wanted, let me know. Um, got him. Shooting. Let me ring her up. But uh, yeah. So I I didn't really have the intent to make one originally, but I might just because. Um. Take that, you scoundrel. Uh, but yeah, it was it was cool. Uh, I didn't go to too many panels. 
uh, mostly because there really weren't that many that were interesting. Uh, they had robot fighting this year, which was pretty cool. I took a look at it on that for a quick second. Missed him. Give ah, him another shot. Dang it. Um. Nice shooting. And of course, they had their cosplay wrestling again this year, like they had last year. Um. I'm trying to think of what else big was different about the convention. Uh, they had a new dealer's room for uh, people who hadn't necessarily Bingo! worked for or with Colossal Con before. Uh, so they had them in a separate room for like a day and a half. Um, and then they had their main dealers that they have worked with before in the main dealer room floor. Um, I bought so much stuff. Got him. I bought so much art. I took one of the art pieces to work. Um, and the other two have to, the other three, sorry, have to be framed still. Three, four? Yeah, four. The other four pieces have to be framed yet. Uh, from the dealer's room, I also picked up, um... Not bad! Because, I mean, you can see on my shelf, kind of, um... Uh, my Play Arts Kai Sora Kingdom Hearts 3. I've also got Play Arts Kai Roxas over here. So while I was at the con, I picked up Play Arts Kai Riku. Uh, I also got the Static Arts figures of Cherithi, Meow Wow, and Shadow Heartless. So they're over. You shoots, you on my table over here, but they're kind of precariously perched right now. So yeah, um, trying to think of the fun anecdotes from. Oh Got well, another. immediately. Well, hang on. Let's see if we can afford this suit. Uh, hey, molasses, get a load of yourself in the mirror. Yeah, Looks like you no. Need some new clothes. Pop's cash register shows which outfits you can afford. Yeah, so I can't afford the suit, but I want to see what else they got just in case. Yep, let's get the suit. I'm gonna be a fancy pirate. All right. This one comes with two pairs of pants, but I don't know. It might be a bit formal for an ocean voyage. This one comes with two pairs of pants, but I don't know. It might be a bit formal for an ocean voyage. Well, I mean, what would you wear on an ocean voyage? A ballerina dress, a superhero outfit, clown costume, NASA spacesuit. Mr. Judgmental Horse. Uh, but yeah, so, um... Hey, Hawkins, your business suit is right on the money. I'll bet the bear would be bullish on that. <laughs> yeah, so let's go and... Thanks for out. Hope to see you again. You too, sir. You take care of yourself. So... Funny story about Colossal Con. When we first got there, um, oh, the gate is interactive. Okay, yeah, he loosely counts as one of the pirates. Um, do we want to get the ship now? Let's come over here Hawkins, first to the spy come glass. on in. This place is great. Because the get getting the oh ship dear, is oh a lot of story and plot. I'll catch up with you later, Spotty. See you later, Calico. Have fun pillaging. Um. Okay, that doesn't give us one. Spyglass sign. 
I know something about the spyglass gives us mm. a stone. The spyglass in. I'm just mad about that place. <laughs> well, actually, I'm mad about everything. Is <laughs> that Gonzo? Yes, it was. Crazy, whatever he is. All right, let's go in. Hold on there, matey. We got a dress code here at the Spyglass Inn. Before I unlatch this here latch, you need an eye patch so you match. Pick one from this batch, you catch? Excellence with rhymes. Okay, yeah, that's the executive eye patch. Although I like the uh, uh, molasses stained eye patch. All right, let's go in. Good day, mate. That's a mighty fine eye patch you got on. Yes. Welcome aboard. I I, I find it to be quite uh, stylish and fitting myself. of things interactive here. So let's just go to the piano. Man, this is one tough gig. Fast, slow, high, low. I can't keep up with these guys. Tell you what, take over my gig and you keep all the tips. Play around as long as you like. I'm out of here. See ya. All right. Okay, Hawkins, this isn't a normal piano. This is a pirate piano. It plays itself. Now you have to listen to what the piano plays, yeah. then try to imitate exactly what you hear. If you get enough notes right, the piano will play an entire song. <laughs> now that's adventure. Care to play a friendly game, mate? Fun memory games. Man, that was some funky music you were playing. Must be some cool band you're in. Here's a coin for your groove. Cool, one silver piece for two notes. I'm gonna change instrument sounds uh, with each thingy. But, um... Yeah, so when we got there, um, I Can was play a friendly game, mate? I was gonna be cosplaying as yeah, Sora, that the Master of Masters, and the Twelfth Doctor. I decided against Sora when I got there, but I still had him, because uh, really this was the debut of the Master of Masters costume and a really good completed Twelfth Doctor for me. Um, so. Yeah. Um. Uh, so when we got there, um, PJ was gonna be cosplaying as Breath of the Wild Link. Um. Uh. But when we got there, we he quickly realized he forgot his wig at you had home. To play a friendly game, mate. So we're like, do we really want to just drive two hours back and get your wig, or what can we do? So I'm trying to do the best I can to find, like, some sort of costume shop in the general area. We eventually found one. Because I'm like, at best they're going to have a random blonde wig. Um, or at least they're going to have a random blonde wig that we could restyle to make it work for them. Um... The other side of it was uh, Legend of Zelda and Link are becoming more, like, video game characters are becoming more and more, like, staple Halloween costumes, like, for pre-made costumes. Uh, and I know I've seen Link costumes before, like, pre-made Link costumes. So, um, 
there had to have been a matching wig, right? So we go. That's two rocks, Hawkins. You're either halfway to gold or halfway to your gray. <laughs> I'd like to think I'm halfway between both. Hey, thanks. Care to play a friendly game, mate? Also, I forgot to change the instrument. Duck. Alright, I got it wrong. Ah, crap. Yo, mate, that song really brings me back. Here's a tip for your troubles. But, um, so we get there, we get to this costume shop. And conveniently and luckily, the fates aligned that there was a Legend of Zelda cosplay wig right there, prepackaged and everything with official branding for Nintendo and Legend of Zelda. Uh, so he grabbed it, we checked out, and went back to the con. So, small victories, right? Um, so I wore the 12th Doctor. Thursday, because there wasn't much going on. Um, Friday was also 12th Doctor. Play a friendly game, mate? Let's change to trumpet. Here's some booty for your kitty. Never say that again. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so Twelfth Doctor was Thursday, Friday. Um, Saturday was the day of the photo shoots for both Kingdom Hearts and Doctor Who, and they were kind of back to back with an hour in between. So, um, oh, it's playing head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I was like, why does this sound familiar? Care to play a friendly game, mate? Let's change to recorder. Some funky music you are playing. Must, Must be, be some, some cool, cool band, band you're in. in. Here's a Is coin, a coin for, for your groove. groove. But, um. Yeah, so the photo shoot was, um. Uh, the Friday, or, or the, the Saturday, rather. Um. So I wore the Master Masters for majority of the day. Um, low light, but kind of a funny story. Um, funny in how it ended up. Um, not funny in the moment. Um, so, and, and the people that went were me, Andrew, PJ, and PJ's, uh, girlfriend, Megan, whom you saw in last year's, um, uh, Colossal Convent. Uh, let's change instrument to drums. Care to play a friendly game, mate? So, we got to the convention that day. Um, I had just f put the finishing touches and got all the hardware for the Master of Masters cosplay together. I.e. the, the chains, the chains, the zippers, and everything. Oh. Uh, Gosh, one, two, three, four, five. What was it? Oh, it skips. One, two, three, four, five. F fuck. One, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. There yeah, we go. Mate, that's that song that really brings, brings me back. Me back. Here's a, a tip, tip for your troubles. troubles. Um. So I just put the finishing touches on. Um. Uh, I was stupid, and it, okay, so my, um, Master of Masters cosplay, the, um, the chains, the snake clasp, or the snake chain that I had for the pendulums, uh, had a jewelry clasp like this, um, so I just clipped it using my Roxas pendant, um, I just clipped it to the collar of the coat like so thinking okay that's secure enough it'll hold um it didn't um and i lost one of the chains between putting the coat in the trunk of the car and getting it out to put it on in the parking lot um i was pissed because i had to get those things custom 3d printed at um uh at my local library um and to play a friendly game, having mate? one and not the other was not good. Because I'm, as as many people can attest, I'm a perfectionist to a fault. In that, when something does not go perfectly, I get very grumpy and very mad. Especially when I've spent so much time working on something to be perfect. Um. Dang it, what was it? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, shit. There we go. Man, that was some, some funky, funky music, music you were playing. playing. Must, be Must be some, some cool, cool band, band you're in. in. Here's, Here's a, a coin, coin for your groove. And we unlock the button to make it play automatically by itself. Um. Excuse me. So I lost the chain. I lost one chain, and I was I, I was upset. I was like, "Is there any way that we could go back to the hotel, check the parking lot?" Uh, I was checking the parking lot there, making sure I didn't just simply drop it there, but it, it was not there. Um, let's see. There's another. There's oh, I hate this one. Do, 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 do. Also, these pirates aren't picky at all. I mean, I'm just making sounds. Here's some booty for your kitty. I told you never to say that again, didn't I? Um. But, um. I'm trying to think. Uh, so, so I was, I was... I was upset. I was looking everywhere and could not find it for the life of me. Man, that was some funky, funky music, music you were playing. Must, Must be, be some cool, cool band, band you're in. in. Here's, Here's a, a coin for, for your groove. groove. Alright, I think we've maxed out on money. But I'm gonna go through all the instruments anyways just because... Hopefully getting another rock, but I know we probably won't. Um... Yo, mate, that's that song that really brings, brings me back. Me back. Here's a, a tip, tip for your troubles. troubles. Alright, yeah, I think we've hit the max amount of money. Yep, and we're back to Xylophone. Alright, let's get out of here and go talk to Squire Trelawney. So... Oops, there goes the eye patch. I guess it was only a rental. <laughs> what you said um 
so... Hey, Hawkins, <laughs> why don't you go inside? I ain't dressed for it. Yeah, neither am I. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was, I was livid. Not at anyone other than myself for losing the damn thing. Um, but I was very not happy that I had lost the chain, because, like, I spent time and money and, you know, uh, m my family helped out a lot with getting that cosplay together. Um, I guess I should let Square Trelawney say what he has to say. Meet you inside. No. Okay, I guess that was it. Um, but uh, yeah, so they they put a lot of hard work and time and effort into it. So I didn't want to see it all ruined because I lost a damn chain. I mean, the code itself still looked fantastic without it, but um, I I I needed to find that chain. Um, and we couldn't go back right away because oh, PJ and Megan uh, had to go to the Legend of Zelda shoot. Um, the squire is away on business, but his half-wit son will see you. Master Trelawney, these visitors say they have something to show you. Oh boy, show and tell. Steve, send them on up. The squire will receive you now. Please proceed. <laughs> Hello there! What can I do for you? Wait, I know! You've come to buy my latest brainstorm! It will change the world! It's called... The Rubber Chicken! Ah, Go on. How many can I put you down for? No, wait, seven. let me get a quill. Wait, come back, I want seven. Hey, the squire wants to play show and tell. Now you know what to show him, don't you? The compass, right? Right? Wrong! <laughs> you show him the map I was testing. Stay on your toes, Hawkins! <laughs> I mean, you didn't give wow, me much of a choice. Map to Treasure Island. Do 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 do. Tell you what, you have the map, I have the ship. Let's be partners. Here's I like that idea. Trelawney seal of passage. Show it to Mr. Arrow, and he'll let you board the Hispaniola. Okay. Oops, seal. Hmm. Ah, here we are. There you go. All right, we got the seal. Thanks for the seal, Squire. A Hawkins and I'll meet you at the boat. Oh boy, we're going on an adventure to Treasure Island. Hey, Jeeves, I'm going on a trip. Pack my whoopee cushions. See you on the Hispaniola. Come on. And don't forget those seven rubber chickens. Oh, come come on. So sensitive. Um. Good work, Beaky. That's all for today's science lesson, young Master Trelawney. Tomorrow we will study oceanography. Come along, Beaky. Anyways. I've heard some really great things about you from the Squire. Hi, ho, everyone. Let's have some frivolity. Is that a Monsieur Edouard original? It is. Moi, I'm not perfect, but I'm about as close as you can get. That's a picture of my great, great, great granddaddy, Squire Trelawney the Eighth. History's a little fuzzy on him. Actually, he's a little fuzzy. Hmm. Uh. Anyways, um. Let's get out of here and head to the docks. So. So yeah, the on, the pendulum Hawkins was just missing. Um, we were at the Legend of Zelda shoot, um, and I'm just trying hey, to mentally retrace my crew. steps. Well, I, um, I was door. thinking, okay, Push it was on the me. coat when I took it from the room. I don't remember seeing it in falling. I don't remember seeing it being anywhere different when I put the coat in the car, but I kind of folded up the coat so it might have dropped out in the parking lot of the hotel. Um, I, I was thinking of literally every option trying to find this pendulum. And 
eventually I'm just sitting there with my my, my arms hanging down at my side. This one uh, finally comes down because I'm sitting there thinking like this. I'm like, okay, where was it? Was it? Was it here? Was it? So, anyways, I put my arm down eventually, and I'm feeling something cold uh, against my skin. And I'm like, I shouldn't be sweating already, but this doesn't feel like water or liquid cold. This feels like a metal. It's in my sleeve. It's in my sleeve. So then I uh, go over to PJ, Andrew, and Megan, and I'm like, guys, I'm sorry for freaking out. The costume means a lot to me, and you get, guys know how I am about perfection, so I apologize for how I've acted. And I was like, that being said, would you like to see a magic trick? I pull it out of my sleeve. <laughs> um, which I hope they weren't too terribly annoyed at me and just in general and uh, could appreciate the humor of the situation that it was just simply up my sleeve and not lost and missing. Um, oh, there she is, boys. The Hispaniola. Yep, word has it. She'll be sailing for treasure soon enough. But Angel Marie, how are we going to get on board? We can't get past Mr. Arrow without the Squire's seal of passage. You leave that to Mad Monty. Yeah. <laughs> and the one-legged man, he's working on the Squire as we speak. Who hmm? <laughs> oh, hired the Squire? Uh, oh, uh, I'm trying. Oh, rats. I guess I'm stuck here for the rest of the game. <laughs> I really want to do a Waldorf and Statler cosplay and just walk around a convention one time just critiquing everybody's cosplays. Ah, the Hispaniola, the queen of the seas. Or is that the, the joker of the seas? Oh, well, go ahead. I'll meet you on board in a few minutes. All right, let's go on board because we're not going to get another... Uh, uh, we're not gonna get another one of the things, uh, this section. Uh, I would click on these barrels, but it's gonna be the same as it was a second ago, just pirates popping out. Out of all of them. So. Let's talk to Mr. Arrow. Hmm! I can see that you have the Trelawney Seal of Passage. You I have do. obviously found favor with the Squire. Welcome yeah. aboard the Hispaniola. Thank you, sir. The CD you want looks like this. But anyways, so yeah, um, with disc two, we'll continue more Colossal Con stories. There's more to tell. Um, more fun pirating adventures. Um, and yeah. So, with that being said, thank you all for watching. If you liked it, let us know. Like and comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already. While you're at it, check out the last Nerdy Nostalgia in the playlist down below. We did it back in October with me and Janky Shenanigans. Uh, we played Return of the Phantom, which was the inaugural series for Nerdy Nostalgia, and one of my favorite games as a kid as well. Um, check out all of our other so shows and series on the channel. Uh, I hope to be doing, and I'm announcing it now, I hope to be doing either Sly Cooper or Jack and Daxter to replace Spyro on the channel until the Reignited trilogy comes out, in which case I will be playing uh, Spyro 3 to conclude our Spyro franchise from the Reignited trilogy on the channel. Um, so I'll be doing that hopefully around September-ish when that game comes out. But there might be Jack and Dexter and or Sly Cooper in the meantime. Uh, so keep a lookout for that. That'll be uploading on Fridays when it does come out. Um, grab back a friendship. I hope to come back. I just have to actually find a time when all of my friends are available and be like, yo, let's record something. Um, there's another big announcement on the way in due time uh, with more series to come. Um... Check out Tom's content. I have issues and the Let's Talks. I do Let's Talks. He does Let's Talks. So let's uh, so so check those out. Um, Dive in the Hearts podcast with me and Joel Bone comes out every once in a while. I hope to get some regularity behind it. 
um, we're, we're reworking it again uh, to try to make it something that can recur a little bit more often than it currently does. Um, also, uh, check me every Wednesday on Janky Shenanigans channel, uh, twitch.tv slash Janky shen Shenanigans, um, every Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Pop Culture Podcast. That's enough shelling for me for the day, so anyways, thank you all for watching. I will see you nerds next time. Goodbye, everyone. When the course is laid and the anchors weighed, a sailor's blood begins racing. With our hearts unbound and our flags unfurled, we're out and away and off to see the world. Underway and off to see the world. Hey ho, we'll go anywhere the wind is blowing.